Hi, I'm Michael Masolino. Hi, and I'm Annie Masolino. And this is a culinary experience, and welcome. Today in a culinary experience, Andy and I are going to make something together. A little bit of something that I love. Andy and I like to go out to dinner a lot. A lot, right? Yeah. What's your favorite restaurant? In the world? No, in like here. Uh, the deli counter? The deli counter is not a restaurant. That's a great deli. <laughs> What's a great restaurant you like to go to? Coast Grill. Coast Grill is a great restaurant? Uh, Armand's. Armand's, that's good too. Burger King. Burger King? That's well, anyway, place. that's not my favorite restaurant. But what I don't like is when I go to a restaurant and I order baked clams and I get a clam shell with a bunch of breading in it, no flavor. So remember that time we went to the restaurant and I got a baked clam and I was very unhappy? And I went home and I said, you know what? I'm going to make the best doggone baked clam I ever had in my life. Remember? Yeah. And we made fresh baked clams and we called them Argentinian baked clams because I don't know why, because it sold it really well. Yeah, I don't really know either. But we've been making them since then and today we're going to make them for you guys yeah. because I love them to death. So here we go. Andy's, are you going to make some fruit salad? Yeah, I start. Awesome. So Andy's making a little fruit salad for us because it's Andy's favorite. And I'm going to start making clams. So if you follow me over here, we've got our croutons, basic croutons you need. You need a fresh bread cut up and put it in the oven, and we've done that. Then we need clams. We've got either top necks or cherry stones are too small because it'll take a lot more. But cherry stones are delicious. Top necks or chowders is basically what I use for this because I want a big, beautiful clam. So my trick is, what I do is I like to take the clam when it comes in and I like to throw it in the freezer and freeze the muscle on it because it's very easy to open that way. And then I just open it and scrape the clam out into a bowl. And then I save the um, shells because we're going to stuff the shells. So I got a little opening. How you doing? Good. What are you making there? Fruit salad. Oh, with a pear? Mm-hmm. Mm, looks good. All the juice comes out of the clam. We're going to need that. And the Argentinian baked clam, the reason I called it Argentinian was basically because I'm using a chorizo or andouille sausage in it. Dewey. And andouille. And, and I, love, like I love the name Argentinian because when you tell a customer what kind of clam is that, and you say Argentinian baked clams, they automatically go, ooh. And seeing it and saying it is part of selling it. And that's how we sell so many of them here. Yeah. All right, here we go. That's why everybody loves them. Loves what? The Argentinian baked clams. They do love them. All right, now, so we have our, our, this one's not quite open for me. We don't need that many. We're going to make about three or four for Andy and I. Ready? Okay, here we go. We're going to set this aside right here. We got our clams cleaned out. And we're going to set them all aside. We have some more here. And we're going to wash the shells. There's a couple ways to wash them. Wash them in the sink with a little vinegar and water. Or you can put them in a little boiling water. But you want to get the remaining sand out of the clam off the shell. When you open it, you kind of chip the shell. How you doing, buddy? You good? All right. Just be careful you don't cut yourself. I know. Next step. I'm going to take this, and here we go. We're going to start chopping and cutting. So I have a yellow pepper, and I'm cutting all the sides of the pepper, and I'm going to lay it down and julienne it. Ooh, that looks absolutely delicious. Julienne the thin strips. Yeah. You know, okay. that, well that actually is like um, uh, mommy's name. Mommy's name is Julie yeah. Ann. Yeah. Hey, that's pretty that, cool. That's pretty cool. All right, so we got our yellow peppers. And then we're going to use red pepper. All right, red pepper here. Right here. And we just cut the sides down the pepper. And all you have left is a center. Oh, and right. Julianne, one more time. Julianne it one more time. Mmm. I love the smell of the pepper. I love the smell of this. Peach? peach? Yeah, peach. Then we put them together and we flip them around. Turn them. Yeah. Just turn them. And now we're going to paint a fine dice right here. Yeah, I remember that? What's that? Remember when we, remember um, uh, when our basement, and we filmed in our basement? What's that? Remember when we filmed in our basement and yep. Bosco had that um, 
toy um, cover. What toy cover? That um, Lego top cover. Yeah. That was cutting. Yeah. He was funny. Bosco's a funny guy, isn't he? Yeah, he's a hilarious guy. Well, when we used to film it, if you guys in East Hampton remember back years ago, we used to film it ourselves, right? Uh-huh. And then what happened was Bosco came and he helped us film because I couldn't cook and film at the same time. This is when we very first started a culinary experience about seven years ago. So what we had was the top of a Lego box, and it was bright red. And whenever Bosco wanted me to stop or wanted me to go or wanted my attention, he would take the red top and wave it like this. And I would know, okay, I got a problem. That's the truth. See, we tell the secrets yeah. behind our scenes, right? Yeah. Okay. Because, like, other shows like Mythbusters, they don't do that. No, they don't do that. You like Mythbusters, too, right? Yeah. Okay, we got our... Dad, you love Mythbusters. I, myth I love Myth. My favorite thing is to sit on the couch all day Sunday and watch Mythbusters. Okay, I've got my andouille sausage, and I'm now going to cut it in the same size Dad, dice. Yes, you know, sir. you missed Mythbusters last night, and they had, um... They shot a piece, they were trying to shoot a piece of um, straw through a pine, I mean through a, uh, what do you call it, a palm tree. Did trying. it work? N no, but piano wire will. It was plausible, huh? Or it didn't work? It was plausible. It was plausible. That's good. Andy and I watch Mythbusters and then we go around and create our own things. Like one time we made a rocket cannon, remember that? Yeah. That shoots potatoes and corn? Yeah. And um, uh, we still have it. And you know what? Michael's come over today. We can show him it. Oh, cool. We'll show him it. Yeah. We'll All right. Now we're going to go here. Do we're it. ready to go. Wipe my hands off. Do We've got a saute it. pan going. Do I need a stick to light with. You, you hold the set, Andy. What? How's your fruit salad going? Great. I'm going to heat up my pan real quick. I'm going to yeah. take some garlic. Get some of that. Garlic. Got to have garlic in everything you make. Now, if you don't like garlic, and there are people in this world that don't like garlic, can you believe yeah, that? I know. Take it and crack don't it. Like it. Crack it. Crack it again. Yeah. Gotta have garlic in there. Okay, Yum. and go. And now I'm gonna give it a fine chop. Are you eating that salad or are you making it? I'm making it. Okay. How no, about I some grapes? You gonna put some grapes in there? I already have some grapes in there. You can have that as a bedtime snack tonight. Yeah, but actually, I'm not gonna eat that. Oh, yeah, no, it could be a snack for me and Mike. That's true. We could take it home and have yeah. it for Michael. We do it. We think about things here. You know, we plan ahead around this culinary experience set. Yeah, but uh, what we're I having for dinner. Out, yeah, but I find out things that are good that will be good for me and my friends. Uh huh. And for us. Okay. When we come back from this break of the culinary experience, I'm going to saute my stuffing, and Andy's going to finish up his uh, fruit okay. salad, and we'll be right back on the set of a culinary experience with Michael Moss and Andy and Moss. Andy Moss. Bye. We'll be right back. All right, I'm going to get my olive oil going in here. Okay, Dad. Um, Do you uh, like baked clams? Uh, yeah. I, I actually like them. mussels. You like mussels? Yeah. I'm going to have two monkeys on my back. I'm going to chase you guys around the house. Yeah, then they're going to hit you. No, um, you know I am. Yeah, we are. We're going to be like crazy today. Ah! <laughs> All right. All right, we're back. Oh, we're back with a culinary experience. Andy and Michael Moss, and today we're making Argentinian baked clams. It, in Southampton at the corner, the deli counter. Uh -huh. All right, let's go. I'm ready. I got my oil going, nice and hot. I got red and yellow it's peppers, food. onions, and andouille sausage. Dewey. Oh, oh the flame. Oh, we're gonna get crazy here. Crazy flame. Really good. And more onion. Let's hurt each other. How's your salad coming along? Okay, ah. I'm just gonna saute this Dewey. really quick. And what I want to do is take my clams now and put them into a uh, Cuisinart and chop the clam. I also have the juice, which is great. I'm going to need the juice. Mm. That's the flavor. Excuse me for that. We'll move this over here. This becomes very quick. Oh, I and I don't want to over chop the clam. I just want a fine chop. Mm, you still got the guts in there, you know. Yep. So I'm gonna leave this here. I'll take my blade out and set it aside. So is that so is that like a uh, gut saute? A gut saute could be. All right. While we had a commercial break, I washed our clam shells, and we're gonna need a sheet pan, the same sheet pan we used here. We're gonna put our clams on here. So 
I'll get ready for this. We're going to saute this up a little bit. And I might have more andouille and more peppers and onions than I really need, but I can always set it aside for something else. It would be great for a jambalaya. Ooh, jambalaya. Have you ever had jambalaya? Yeah. You like it? Mm. It's spicy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Are you eating everything or are you just... Oh, boy. That's it. All right. I've got my clam and I got a little white wine. I'm going to want a little white wine because what, what does white wine do when we cook something? I can't it, remember. It intensifies the flavors. Makes it stronger. Yeah. Yes. That's, we, that's with salt, too. Salt. Salt just makes it salty. No, salt put out the flavor. It, does, it put, brings out the flavor. You're right. Oh, yeah. He's right. Okay, little crushed pepper. Yeah. Right? Can you flip it in the air? Yeah, sure. Oh, that's psycho. Okay, that's psycho. And now my clam juice. Clam juice. And at the very last moment. You didn't really spread that around. What's that? I don't want to use it all. I really don't need it. At the very last moment. I'm going to add the clams because I don't want to overcook the clams because yeah. we're going to bake them. Can you do that? Keep them entertained and I'll get rid of this? Okay. All right. Um, uh, you know, um, salad, I like to make this stuff, um, uh, but I really like to do it, but Guess I don't Daddy really forgot. like to what? The garlic. The dog. Da, da, da. You got to have a little garlic in it. Don't be. Okay. Now, you know okay. we've got this. Okay, our bowl is ready. We've got our clams. And our clams are going to go right in to our stuffing. Delicious. Turn that off. Move it, move it, move it. Move okay. the knife, move the knife. Okay, we're all set. That now, you, you could get crazy and add a little bit more crushed red pepper or something like that, but andouille is a very spicy sausage, so I recommend you hold out with it and yes. just stick with the sausage. If you can't find andouille, then what I'd suggest you do is go ahead and find some kielbasa. Some Kibasa. good kibasa and Kibasa. use kibasa and add a little bit of uh, crushed red pepper. Kibasa. It's called okay. kibasa. I'm going to stir this. And Andy, what do you want to add to your your, uh, your fruit salad? You want to bring it over here? Looks good. We're going to add a little um, confection sugar and maybe a little lime juice. Would sugar? that be good? Yeah. It shouldn't have sugar. Why not? Because it'll be too sweet. Be too sweet? Yeah. You know Daddy loves sweets. Okay, fine. Okay? We we'll want 10,000 tons of sugar. Okay, good idea. All right, let's get this straightened out. Put that here. Are you going to help me stuff these clams? Do we do it? Put all my clam shells and we'll lay them out here. Now, it's okay to use this. Oh, that's a full one. The full one? Yeah, we just we won't use that one. We don't need it. We we'll take this. Okay. And I'm going to, as soon as this comes to a boil, I can take out all the stuff and reduce the sauce and make it stronger, make it more powerful. Almost, um... Like a superhero? Like a superhero. That would be it. Here goes our stuffing. Our breadcrumbs are going in. Stuffing. See, try that. Oh, yeah, that's crunchy. Okay? Nice, nice, nice. Okay? And we're going to use that sheet pan now. Lay that all out. Mmm. How are they? Mmm. Pretty good? So how was Christmas? Great. Santa brought you everything you wanted? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Four. More? And where did you go after Christmas after Christmas? Where'd you go? Florida. To where? Disney World. Disney World? You were such a lucky kid. And Epcot and SeaWorld. And SeaWorld. That's amazing. And the sharks were cool. Mm-hmm. Alright, here we go, Andy. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna add it in here. Ducky Daddles. Ducky Daddles. <laughs> You're funny. I'm going to add this in, and then I'm going to throw the sauce back on the stove and reduce it a little bit more. Because I want to use some of the sauce, but I want to intensify it. Okay? Uh -huh. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the parsley, a flat leaf parsley. I put that right in. Right here. I put that in. Well, I'm going to chop it up first. Oh, can I chop it up? Uh, let me chop it up because I don't want you getting any blood on the set here. Okay, take the end off. And I have the heads of the parsley. It makes it really easy when you clean all your herbs before you start cutting and stuff. And you cut their head off. Cut the, you cut it all up and you, you don't have to go head. and stop and wash everything. And if you cut. wash it first and put it in a Ziploc bag, it'll last a lot, a lot longer. And it'll also be ready for you to use. Got my parsley. And reduce that. 
Mozzarella. Fresh mozzarella. Mozzarella? Again. It's called mozzarella scoop. Mozzarella, mozzarella, potato, potato. Tupi, poopy. Okay. Tomato, that? potato. And I'm going to use a little bit of Parmesan Reggiano a little bit because it's a good thing. And now I'm going to start to mix. And what we're going to do is we're going to judge our clam and our texture of our stuffing uh, by how much it, it, it grabs from the actual clam and the peppers. And if we need to add more juice, we have it right here reducing. And it's reducing and getting stronger and stronger. So when we come back, we'll finish stirring our stuffing and we'll stuff our clams and we'll have a mm, beautiful meal. Okay? And we'll come right back with the culinary experience. Do you want to add a little something to your sauce, your uh, salad there? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going to some of these. You want to add a little lime? Welcome back on Culinary Experience. I'm Andy Moss. And I'm Michael Moss. And welcome back to our show. We're just about ready to finish up our Argentinian baked clams. I have my um, reduction already done, my clam juice and my peppers and onions. This is the reduction from all of it in the andouille. And I'm just going to add it in now and really moisten up the rest of our stuffing. Andy has got his fruit salad going for tonight. Let me do my lime. Yeah, you want to squeeze lime in there? Sure. I already did squeeze lime. Do you want to make the lime? You want to eat it? Are you crazy? Go ahead. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's gross. How was that? Tastes good? Okay, well, I don't think I'd do that again. I wouldn't do that again. All right, how about putting a little confection sugar in your, in your fruit okay. salad? All right, we have the perfect consistency here, guys. You see, it's really stuffing-like, and it's mushy. It's got the cheese running through it. That's exactly what we want. So here we go. I'll put that out here in front of you. And what I'm going to do is take a nice handful. I use a gloved hand because it's hot, and it is messy. And I tuck it into the clam. And I do not pack it in, just let it sit. Okay? Take another one, I'll take the spoon out, I don't need that anymore. Tuck it into the clam and let it sit. And what happens is when we put it in the oven in a few minutes, all this stuffing will kind of get a nice crust on it. The cheese will get a nice crust. It'll start to expand a little bit because of the heat and it'll run out of the clam. And what this is, is a gracious, elegant, wonderful looking clam with a lot of flavor and I tell you what, I'd pay for this in a restaurant, wouldn't you? Yeah. So that's good. The cheese really adds to it. Um, the clam juice and the white wine and the and dewy add a great dewey. flavor. And dewy. You do. I think for now on, every time you sneeze, you you should say han dewy. Why? Because instead of saying hot chewy. <laughs> chewy dewy. We are silly, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Okay, I got three more to go, and then we'll take them and we'll throw them right into the oven and I will help Andy finish up his fruit salad for our snack tonight. Andy is Actually, a fruit king. You eat about four or five pieces of fruit every night before you go to bed, huh? Maybe like, maybe like five pounds of fruit. Yeah, five books and five pounds of fruit. It's a little much, huh? Yeah, maybe it. How about putting a little of that sugar in there? You got it? I did put it. Okay, so then in a minute we'll get a plate and we'll, we'll plate it up for you. And look at this, guys. We actually have the exact amount of stuffing for the exact amount of clams. I knew I saw a shell there. Uh, exact amount of stuffing for the right amount of clams. And the gloves really, really Can help you in this hand? case. Keep your hands clean. Keep everything else clean. Uh, where is my uh, knife? I don't know, honey. Oh, right here. Okay. And we're ready uh, do we? to throw this in the oven and let it bake. When we come right back, we'll bring it out. A little Parmesan on top. Mmm. And I think now what we just do is just like, we'll just put this on a plate, okay? Yeah. We'll just roll it out. It looks like you had fun making it. Yeah, I did. I like the blackberries. Yeah. Kind of cool. You sure made a mess of that bowl though, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, what I kind of like it to be like is like this. Kind of just laid out? No, I kind of like it like that juice on it. Oh yeah? So we're gonna put your lime on it? Like that for decoration? Yeah. Now, what else? A couple of strawberries? Uh -huh. A little decoration. And what about a little grape? I don't see a lot of grapes in this. Yeah, because there's more a couple, the but. More at the bottom. Huh? They I'm went to the, the bottom? bottom. So yeah. we'll just decorate it then? A little bit of that? And can I do something else? What? I know it's your dish. Can I put a little bit of white on top? Yeah. Okay. White. Put a little bit of powdered sugar. Whoop. 
Daddy Look. loves powdered sugar, especially on his on his French toast. It's too much. Okay. Boy, you're a tough chef, aren't you? Huh? Oh, I don't like that much. You don't like that much? It's gonna it's gonna disappear though. It'll go right in. Oh. Okay. Mm. What do we always say? Wipe your plate and decorate. Okay. Yeah, wipe your plate and decorate. Wipe your plate and decorate. Dunk. And there we go. Yeah. Great job, Andy. Okay. How about you say you help me do our clams now? Okay. All right. We'll move this, and I will get our clams ready, and. We can pull them out of the oven. Mm -hmm. Here, you can nibble on those. I'll take this and this. I have some lemon leaves mm -hmm. to put on our plate. These clams are a great, great appetizer. You know what? Um, they're great for a bunch of guys who are playing poker, drinking beer, having poker. I'll tell you once, you, once you make these for your husband or your brother, whoever, your family, they will never, ever, ever forget it. I can guarantee you that. Thank you, Sabina. That's awesome. So I get some lemon leaves. And I'll need this pair of tongs because they are hot little buggers. And we got, you see how we have this nice free flowing clam coming out, just like that. Oh, it's awesome. Now, there's something else you can do to this, which I do a lot, is I take a string and tie it around the clam, and that way they don't open up all the way. So you can do that also. Um, you see how they open up? They do expand, but you can just close it down, put it like that. Oh boy and take a little butcher's twine and tie a little rope around it. Oh, these are awesome. Baked, Argentinian baked clams. And I'll use this one. Delicious. You'll never forget, your guests will never forget this. And of course, you can always get this at the deli counter. It's made all the time. These are a great appetizer and a great, great, great way to spend the night, just especially in the summer. Have a glass of wine and have an Argentinian baked clam. And I'll especially this. this fruit salad. Definitely have it when the kids that are watching this. Yep. The kids that are watching this right, right now, um, you can make this. And if your kids um having a play date with somebody, that means if somebody's coming over. Yeah. You can make that for. It's awesome. Kids. Well, what would you rather have, that or a Snickers bar? That. That. You're right. Because that is a lot better for you. And more energy. And what would you rather have, this? or one of those clams you see in a bad restaurant. That. You're not kidding. That's an Argentinian baked clam from Michael Moss and Andy Moss on a culinary experience. And what we can say with that is, hey, you clown, good food, good friends, a good life. God bless, good night. Thanks for joining us in a culinary experience okay. today. We had a good time. Yeah. Can I have one? Yeah. Hey. Mm, they are sweet, aren't they? Michael Mossolino's Culinary Experience is brought to you by The Deli Counter, Fine Foods and Catering, 623 Hampton Road, Southampton, New York, 